As you know, our manifestation fast starts tomorrow if you're starting when I start. So mine starts tomorrow. And a couple of days ago, I made a nice video talking about fasting for manifestation. And I left out the part about your diet. Okay. Not your food diet, because we talked about that. We're not eating from sun up to sundown, but I'm talking about your mental diet. So let's get into it. Hey guys, I am Dr. Stephanie, a neurometaphysicist, and I help you bridge the science with the spirituality so that you can co-create a life that you absolutely love. And I have been making a ton of videos the last few months. A lot's been going on in life. A lot's been going on with me. Um, and really, I just didn't feel like it. That's just like, I just didn't know a lot's been going on with me mentally. Like, I just didn't feel like it. That's the truth. Um, but now that we are doing this fast, we're about to start this fast. I do um, see myself making a lot more content. Won't make any promises, but I see myself making a lot more content. But I did want to come and add some extra notes to our conversation we were having around fasting for men manifestation. So on the previous video, if you have not seen it, go back and watch it. It's not super long, but I gave you details on fasting, why why it's powerful. I talked about it in terms of um, spirituality and religion. I did see in some of the comments, people felt like I was doing it for woo purposes. I absolutely was not. Like um, I have a religious background myself. And so for me, that's comforting to connect it with that. And I mean, we share from the veil in which our experiences are in the world. And so I thought it was really important to tie that in. But if you don't resonate with that, like you can just fast for a manifestation without the conversation of the biblical principles. So I talked about the why, and I talked about a lot of things, but what I did not talk about is, is what's happening during the day. So other than working, what is happening during the day when you are having your fast? So if you are just simply fasting, not eating from sun up to sundown, but there's no protocols and there's nothing happening during the daytime, you're just on a diet. It's true. You're just on a diet. In order to make this a fast for manifestation purposes, there are a few things that has to be done. So um, because for me personally, I am bringing in and calling in um, the power of God and really leaning on that prayers are necessary for me. And then also affirmations and visualization. So I am um, creating three times within that day in which I am doing very conscious prayers and visualizations as well as my affirmations and declarations. So I haven't set forth the times, but it'll likely be something like eight, 12, and six or something like that maybe eight, 12 and five during the day that I will be doing the prayers, affirmation, declarations, vi visualizations. It does not take a very long time for me to do these things, probably because they're a regular part of my life anyway. And so like, I can be talking to you right now. And while I'm talking to you, I can transport myself somewhere else, but I have a lot of practice in the mental work and um, taking myself elsewhere, um, you may need to carve out a little bit extra time that isn't a part of the way you live anyway. But for me, I probably could carve out 10, 15 minutes and like have this whole thing done or less uh, those three times during those fasting periods. Also though, I think it's really important that we cover something that I think is pivotal during this. And it's that it doesn't matter if you're fasting. It doesn't matter if you're praying, you're doing your affirmations, you're doing your visualizations, you're doing your declarations. If in between those times, you are not minding your mental diet. And that mental diet is just as important, if not more important than the other things that you are doing. I'll say just as important because I do think um, fasting 
is something that if you believe in God or if you believe in a higher source and biblical principles, I do believe it's something that is extremely powerful and expected of us anyway. I know that oftentimes people will do stuff like within the Christian community, um, they like to do the Daniel fast. And it's interesting because I remember I haven't worked a job in 16 years. But I remember 16 years ago when I was in the workforce and longer, people would do the Daniel fast and it'd be interesting because you're fasting, but you're at work and you're gossiping and you're at work and you're backbiting and talking negatively about people and talking negatively about yourself and your situations and who you're dating and like all sorts of things. And I remember thinking back then, way before I was as knowledgeable as I am on spiritual law and the science, how that affects literally our sales. I remember thinking, this seems counterproductive. <laughs> like, why are you fasting? And yet, like, you're fasting from food, but you're not fasting from your conversations, from your thought process. Like, what's the point? And I remember thinking that back then. And so I think it's really important that we mind our diet, our mental diet, and ensure that in between those times that we are praying, that we are all also very conscious of the thoughts we're thinking, that we're very conscious that we're thinking thoughts that align with that which we desire, meaning our thoughts are along the lines of already having them. And so if you are fasting for something around your career or your finances, that means in between those prayer times, the declarations, the affirmations, your visualization, that your internal monologue and your internal conversation is focused on the having of the finances that you already desire, how happy and how grateful and joyful you are for what you're currently experiencing in life, which is an overflow and an abundance. And I think this is necessary to say, because again, so many people go into these situations and they're following those rules of what to eat, when to eat, within the times, when to drink, within the time. But then outside of that, they're not minding this. They're not minding this. And I'm reminding you that for that reason, because if you are going to continue to think the way you're thinking without being very conscious, that means that no matter, no matter how many days you chose to do for yourself, seven days, five days, 10 days, 20 days, 40 days, whatever, that, however many days you have chosen to do for yourself, whether you're starting with me or whether you're starting later, because I don't believe you'll see this video by accident. So if you don't see this video for a month, then that's your time. I think if you're going to continue to, to not make that conscious effort to change who you are and the way you're thinking and your programming, you may as well not fast. Baby, go eat during the day. Like, what you doing that for? Go go eat. Why you got to be hungry? Why would you do that if you're not changing the other things? And those are the things that ultimately matter. So, um, yeah, those are my thoughts around it. And I wanted to come bring that to you. And I'd love to hear what you think about it. Do you think that you can fast for manifestation or co-creation without really changing your thoughts and how you're operating and how you're treating people? So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do three times a day of conscious prayer. And then other times, if the thoughts are coming up of things that I don't desire, I'll give myself that time then to, to pray or do a visualization because the goal is to use that time to shift your brain and how your brain is functioning and your thus your belief system, what you're thinking. So you can think a thought so many times that it will eventually become your belief. And so I'm going to guarantee you if you're fasting for something specific and this is something that you have had challenges around, it's going to be a challenging 10 days for you or five days or 30 or however many days you, you choose because everything to support whatever that current belief is, is going to show up for you. And I think that's the power of all this because it's going to be highlighted for you, for you to change it. It's going to be highlighted for you to, for you to make a conscious effort to say, this is not true. This is an illusion. The truth is, and to fill in the truth, it's going to be a conscious effort. And so um, for me, again, I'm be doing my prayers three times during the fasting period. I will be praying and doing those things after the fasting period as well, because 
Um, I visualize as I go to sleep anyway. So that's a, a regular part of my life. But in addition to that, reading specific books, you guys know I love the game of life and how to play it. I started back listening to that about three or four days ago. I've listened to it at least a few hundred times at this point throughout the year. Seriously, not even exaggerating. A few hundred times. Um, the Science of Getting Rich is one that I'm going to lean on. And I'm leaning into other um, books that are, are focused on topics in which I'm fasting for. But also that comes with the view that that I desire on that meaning. You know, if you're fasting. So for me, focus on things that talks about how you think, what you're focused on, psychology, reprogramming, um, different philosophies, those would match kind of where I am in life. Um, I wouldn't go get a book like something, and I love Susie Orman, but probably not something by Susie Orman or um, what's the other guy, Total Money Makeover, Dave Ramsey. Then it just wouldn't fit for what I'm doing. Fine books if that's what you're working on, but it just wouldn't fit for what I'm doing. Um, but I will be using this time. The other thing, and actually, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll just kind of drop it. And then I'll probably make a video about this during this fasting um, period is my prayer journal, which people talk about a prayer journal. But let me tell you something. I have been realizing that I'm writing these prayers down and they come in like, like, well, they come in just like that for me. And so I'll be I'll be doing that, doing a lot of writing my prayers and not just praying my prayers internally or speaking them out loud, but also writing them. And so I'll be talking about all the little pieces that I'll be doing during this fasting time. And maybe, it will, you know, maybe, maybe once I post this video, I'll make a fasting series. And so you guys can follow the playlist and, and follow the series with just different insights and ideas. And if you find any of these videos helpful or you want to share them with other people who are looking to manifest, co-create and are willing to use the power of fasting to do so, maybe share the playlist and I will be posting here. All right, that's it. I pray you guys enjoyed this and I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Toodles.